you say to your unconscious, I'm only going to do, you know, 800 words or 1,000 words, that's it, we're going to have a proper relationship, that's our understanding, you know, that's the protocol, I'm not going to break the rule. The unconscious will reward you by, 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 by obliging. And not only that, when you break off, the unconscious will go on working. And you'll think when you break off, oh yes, so what's going to happen is he's going to go into the room and then this is going to happen. You go back the following day, no. Something incredible happens that is entirely possible but had not occurred to you before. And that that decision has been made because the cogs have been turning whilst you've been doing other things. And I'm a plotter and a planner and yet people turn up in my books, things happen in my books that I had no idea they were going to happen. And it, that's the beauty of being in the, in, in the creative zone. And you have to let that happen. And you have to be open-minded and let it come and explore, go with it, never fight it, never, never fight when something comes from your subconscious because there's a reason for it. And I, I remember writing this scene and I got through the scene and I thought, oh, that's okay, that's okay, that's good. And, and uh, we're nearly done. And then I, I wrote this thing about his girlfriend coming in and, and his girlfriend and she was in her coat and she had an architect's you know, bag and, and, uh, and the colour of her hair. And as I was writing this stuff, I was going, why are you writing this? I hate this character. I, this is not necessary. This character does not need a girlfriend. We don't need to know anything more about her, about him rather. You know, doesn't need to be here, but I couldn't stop. And, and I, I was like, I, I want to go downstairs. I want to have a beer. I want to start the weekend, you know. And, but I couldn't, uh, the page and a half, and the page and a half describing the girlfriend took longer than the previous sort of eight page scene that I had written. But I couldn't get out of there, it seemed. And I was telling myself, I'm gonna cut this. On Monday morning, I'm gonna cut this character. And, and I hate her. Um, anyway, finish the, finish the scene and the color of her hair, you know. And then on Monday, I thought, oh, I can't afford to cut anything. I'm, I don't have enough words. Keep going, keep going, keep moving. Move the story along. And then about two thirds of the way through, I realized that the colour of her hair was significant to the entire revelation of the murderer's identity. That it was absolutely crucial. And, and that was just weird, you know? That I was almost in revolt with my own unconscious, which knew what it was doing, you know? Um, but if I hadn't, if I had been in charge of myself and cut that out, I would have landed in a hole at a certain point.